Continuing our instructional videos for the quick and easy Stirling engine. This is in this step we're going to be measuring and marking and cutting this can that makes up the bottom section of the engine, which is the pressure chamber. So the process is to first measure and put a mark on the side of your can where your cut is going to be. Now I'm measuring just the flat side of the can to get my height. I don't worry about the little curvy section at the bottom. We just want to measure from that corner up and that distance is in the book. Then I just hold the pen at the height of my mark, hold the can against the pen and turn the can and that will make a nice straight line around the can. The trick to getting a nice smooth cut is to do it in two steps. First I'll make a cut above the mark and the first cut will be kind of ragged, then I'll cut right on the mark. So my first cuts with these really tiny sharp scissors that came out of a makeup kit and I just poke it in there and cut above the mark. It's okay if I have a little bit of jagged edge here because that, that's going to get trimmed off. Now I take another set of scissors, a little bit larger than the first ones, and I'm going to very carefully now trim it right on that line. Scissors usually have one direction they cut in better than another. These are right-handed scissors, so if the waste material is on the left side, it works good for cutting a can because it'll curl up out of the way. When you're done, you have a nice smooth edge all the way around, no wrinkles, it's not ragged anymore. Then the last step is with a paper punch, just to reach in as far as it'll go, punch a hole, and that will be where we mount the drive cylinder later in, a, in another step.